Hello and welcome back to my channel. If you're here, that means you want to see my first impressions of the Anastasia Modern Renaissance palette. So I'm just going to go over the formulation, what I think about it, what I think about the colors overall, my thoughts on how it applies to my eyes and everything. So we're just going to go ahead and get into the nitty gritty of this palette and first impressions. So if you guys want to continue on watching, let's go ahead and get onto the video. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and get into the review. I know this is long awaited. I've waited so long to just jump on this bandwagon, but here we are, we're doing it. And I'm gonna go ahead and go over this with you. I haven't swatched anything in this palette at all. I've been waiting to give you guys my very first impression of this palette and kind of just keep it real with you guys and give you my initial thoughts on the formula and everything and let you guys know how well the product blends with certain types of brushes and whatnot. So, Let's go ahead and get into it. I really love the packaging. It's just this nice velvet packaging. It's just, I just like like feeling it, you know? It's, it's weird, but I like it. And it is also cruelty-free, which is just another added bonus for me. Let's just go ahead and open it up for you guys. Ah, <sighs> and it comes with a brush as well. I just seriously love all these colors. The tones are just perfect and gorgeous. So this is a two-sided brush. This side is just a nice fluffy blending brush. And this side is just a more precise brush to kind of just pack on the color and apply it to the crease. These are the shades here for you guys to look at if you want to pause and just reminisce on this oh, gorgeous palette right here. So we're just going to go ahead and get into it. I'm going to swatch them for you guys and show you the color range on my arm for you. So we're going to go ahead and go into temper right here. Ignore my ratchet now that broke off, but we're going to go into temper right here and just uh, see how the formula is and everything. Oh my god. Oh my god. Ah! Okay. It's so creamy and smooth and oh. I can't, I can't. But that is the swatch for tempera. I'm gonna go ahead and swatch a few more. I'm gonna do Golden Orchard. Let's go ahead and do Raw Sienna. I'm just gonna do this whole quad out of, on the side. And Burnt Orange. Oh my god! Okay, so we have tempera uh, right here. The next one is Golden Orch. The next one is Raw Sienna. And then the fourth one is burnt orange, and these colors are just so gorgeous, you guys. I can't. Let's just say a prayer already, okay? Okay, so we're just gonna go into the next four color square. We have Vermeer right here. These colors, oh, dude. These metallic shades are no joke. We're gonna go into Boyan Fresco. Probably didn't even say that right. That's like a, ooh. Oh, that is gorgeous. And then we're gonna go into Primavera. I'm totally butchering these names, you guys. Next one is Red Orchard. This is like the perfect like stone brick red right there. Oh my God, I can't. I'm like dying, these colors are just so gorgeous. Y'all, I think this is beating the Kylie palette. So we're just gonna go into the next quad. So we're gonna go into Antique Bronze, Love Letter, and then we're gonna go into Vienna Red, and then Warm Taupe. This warm taupe is like a perfect transition shade. These colors are just so gorgeous. Okay, so we're just gonna swatch the last two real quick just while I have those there. So I'm gonna go into Cypress Umber, put that under warm taupe, and then Real Gar, Real Gar. I can't. All right, so these are the last two right here. The formula and every single color, even like the, the mattes and the metallics, they are so creamy, so buttery, so pigmented. I just can't. I've never like had a palette like so amazing. Like the colors are just like perfectly picked out and everything. Um, I'm just like really excited to kind of create a look for you guys with this now, just so we kind of have something going on for this video. So I don't know like what shade range do I want to go with, you know? What the I feel like a 20? Well, I guess we can just start with laying down the base and then transition shape. So I'm going to use Tempera, which was this first one that we swatched. And I'm going to use that as my base so that it makes everything else more blendable. I'm just going to go ahead and use my E27 trusty blending brush to go ahead and set down my eye. It does kick up a little bit when you're dabbing into it. 
there's that, but I don't mind because these colors are just so gorgeous. Oh my God. And then I'm gonna go ahead and go into Warm Taupe right here and use that for my transition shade. And I'm just gonna go ahead and use the same E27 brush to apply that. So yeah, you definitely need to go like light-handed when you're dipping into these colors because they are pretty pigmented. Make sure that you're really tapping off some of the excess product so that you're not over applying the color. I just really don't know what to like create because there's just so many gorgeous colors in here. I think I'm going to go ahead and just go in with Juan Fresco, this nice purple shade right here. And I'm going to go in with a smaller concentrated blending brush. So I'm going to go ahead and use my E17. This one's just a little more concentrated. This is color on the lid. Whoa, like I said, there is fallout. Let's take a brush, flick that away. All right, so I'm going to take the same E17 brush and then I'm going to dip into Antique Bronze and just kind of lay that on the, the outer corners. Ooh, yeah, I'm being a little messy right now, but it's okay. We're going to fix it. Then we're going to go back to the E27 and just blend that out. And then I think I'm going to go in with the E36, which is this nice, smaller, more precise brush. And I'm going to dip into Vermeer right here and just kind of put that on the inner corners. Oh my goodness. So I know this isn't like the best tutorial or anything like that. It's just to kind of get like the gist of this formula and everything like that. I don't think this is like the best look that I could come up with right on the spot. And I'm just taking my MAC 217 to help blend this in. I'm just gonna take tempera and just kind of lay that underneath my brow bone, or my, underneath my fake brow. All right, you guys. So, my camera did cut off on me, but for the lower lash line, I just mimicked what I did on the top lid, and then I went ahead and did my mascara off camera, and then I also applied my lip color, and I'm using the Lancome Metallic Lip Gloss, and this one is in the shade of Near Nude, and it's just, this is so gorgeous. I really like this color, and I think it goes well with the eyeshadow today, but I'm just gonna go ahead and run over my overall thoughts on this palette itself. So the product retails for $42, it's cruelty free. The shadows are amazing, such amazing quality. They're so creamy, so pigmented, and it's just, I can't. Just trying to like describe it, it's just like, this palette is like heaven. That's a good way to describe it. I seriously love the, the colors. The only problem that I really have with the palette is that the fallout it has, it has a extreme fallout just because it is pretty creamy. So when you're dipping it in, it's just like you see it flying. And then when you're like putting it on, you see how like when I first put it on, it just like dropped like straight to my cheeks. So yeah, it does have fallout. That's the only con to the palette, but it is worth it. All you have to do is put some powder under your eyes and then whatever fallout you have will fall on to the powder that you have laid underneath your eyes. So once you're done applying your eyeshadow, all you have to do is just swipe it away or do your eyes before doing foundation. That is another thing. I just did this because I'm only reviewing the eyeshadow itself. I'm not like reviewing like a foundation or something, you know, where I would do the eyes first in that sense if I was reviewing like a foundation. And I love the fact that Anastasia Beverly Hills is a cruelty-free brand, and some of their products are vegan, like the Nicole Guerrera Glow Kit palette. That palette is vegan, but most of them are cruelty-free. Just fling them up. I think Anastasia is just killing the game. The eyeshadows, amazing. Highlighters, amazing. Dip brow, amazing. It's just like a whole range, and it's just amazing. So I hope you guys enjoyed my first impressions with me and don't forget to subscribe because I post videos every Sunday and Wednesday and I'm also doing a giveaway once I hit 1,000 subscribers. So be sure to check my Instagram post on that to figure out so you guys know the rules on how to enter for this giveaway. I am giving away a Aurora 
palette from Anastasia along with a few other items to go with it. So it's just like a nice little bundle for you guys, but that is the main product is the Aurora palette from Anastasia. I'm like excited for that. I haven't tried it personally, but I feel like the Alchemist palette kind of just makes up for those colors that I was wanting. So I'm just going to deal with not having one, but it's okay because it's for you guys. It's for you guys. But be sure to give this video a thumbs up and yeah, you guys have been an amazing day, you guys. This video is going to be me reviewing this lip sense kit that a fellow person had sent to me 